Project Runway Silver Fox joins me tonight on the after show. Go make her go home. Aaron was up for the win more than anyone else this season, six times. But then, plot twist: a few innocent braids, neoprene, a birthday ending in tragedy. Aaron, you are out. All right, it's Aaron's turn in the hot seat. Welcome to the after show. We have lights, we have cameras, I it's know. real. It, we yeah. have cocktails. This is called the sorry you turned 40 and then got eliminated a drink, so drink up. Happy birthday. Oh. I'm not 40 yet, but happy birthday. Thank you. Oh my God, David. I'm sorry. No, don't be. I goofed up. You feel really proud that you made it really far. I think you surprised a lot of people. I surprised myself. I did better than I expected. Mm -hmm. I did better than most You proved expect. me wrong. Did I really? You love that? It's like country street. There were so many more moments here that made me feel like I had won that I didn't need to win. This man will go with me wherever I go. He killed it. I love the geometry of this dress, and the effect that you created with the straws is extremely polished. I would buy every piece of this. <laughs> yeah. Aaron stole my heart. I love yeah. him. Aaron living his best Nancy Kerrigan life right now. This was a great experience. I'm glad you feel that way, because you're really good at sewing and tailoring, but for some reason, this one look was a miss. It wasn't a good look. It was messy. I took everything I knew about myself and threw it into a look with a camel toe. It was a camel toe. Oh, it was bad. How, I don't know how that happened. Listen, when you were all worried about me in a camel toe in a bathing suit. I know. Honey. That was perfect. I know. I dress drag queens. I can hide a Anything. camel toe, a moose knuckle, and a can of baked beans. Or, <laughs> excuse me, a can of baked beans. I mean. It's an after show you can cuss. I went into the last challenge doing things that I swore I would never do. Like what? I spent too much time focusing on something that I could have done in half the time, and that was the jacket. Well, why do you think? When the people you've connected with start to go away, it does affect your mentality. Like who? The smoking section. Praje and Octavio and yeah. Anna. Oh my god, the smoking section was gone. I know, the smoking section was gone. So you lose those sounding boards. But the hair was fabulous. And listen, the coat, incredible. So at least you know there was elements that were amazing. Not everybody gets to leave that way. So right. at least that's, I think, important. But yeah. honestly, I learned a lot. So what do you think will be next for the brand? I think I'm going to go home and... Mississippi. Jackson. Jackson. I really want to go home and work on recreating some of the stuff I did here, but better. I think that's a good plan. All right, happy birthday. Let's toast. And I'm sorry. About the drink? It's really bad. <laughs> I know. You know, we've never had a designer who was eliminated from the show declare their love for a producer on the show. And I didn't declare my love. I asked him out for dinner. There's a guy in the crew that I kind of have a crush on that has watched me for the past how many weeks. And now I get to ask him if he wants to go to dinner. So Coop, you want to go to dinner? <laughs> That was a quite epic moment. <laughs> what was going through your head? You're in this bubble. You're in this chaos. Kind eyes mean a lot. Kind eyes. Kind oh, eyes. We're going deep. Like, I'm tired. There was something about the way this producer looked. His eyes sparkled. And he started picking up on little dumb things that I did. I got it. And I noticed. Okay, so listen, you're you're into the producer. We get it. Okay, we, yeah, so the you want to go hot. on a date. He's hot. Guess what? What? He said yes. Uh-huh. And we're gonna go on a date right now. I hate you so much. Bob, and here's your date. Oh here's my God. Coop. Coop, please sit here. Thank you so much. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Coop. <laughs> Welcome to Shea Siriano. Thank you, I made this. This is spaghetti and meatballs, one fork. Before we go, a little bit of housekeeping. Any and all crushes on producers do not affect the designer standing in the competition. Well, that doesn't matter because he was eliminated. Right. So as it should be known, producers do not really understand fashion, which is true. Do you? No. No. Additionally, <laughs> it must be said that Project Runway is a professional workplace environment, and we do not condone inappropriate workplace relationships 
but we will allow for consensual comedy bits. I'm gonna leave you, have a date. I, this is it. Wait a minute, why does he get to wear a mask? Aaron, ask him nice questions on a date. He can take his mask off. Hello. Hey, Coop. Oh my God, you shaved, what? <laughs> yeah. Look, no stash. And you're just as cute as you were with the stash. Oh, thanks. Shall we have some wine? This is a day at work. This is a day at work? Yeah. You get to sit on the runway, a project runway, after being asked out oh, on the I'm runway. Oh, I'm aware. It's happening. Cheers. Cheers. Congrats. Thank you. I realized I was rubbing off on you a little bit because I always wear a cardigan, and then you started wearing a cardigan. It was cold. Are you talking about a cardigan on a date? What is wrong with you people? I don't go on dates. Clearly neither of you do. Aaron, you asked him out, so why don't we ask date questions? Okay. Where do you live? Like, Coop, is that your real name? I know his real name. What's his real name? Kevin. All right. So, Kevin documentarian. Also work on Project Runway. You also work on Project Runway as a producer. Yeah. And clearly, we're not allowed to speak to you in any other capacity than producer and talent. Um, but I was having a down moment. You looked at me, and I'm not sure you realized how much it changed my perspective on this show. All right. Thank you for the many other moments. <laughs> It's a little hard to watch, All but right. I think um, we did it. I don't know if it was the best conversation, but I have a good topic. Ready? Who's going to win? Chantal. Who's going to win? You're not legally allowed to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Have Together. a great night. Goodbye. Bye. Real date off camera. Thank you. Take the wine. Mom, I'm doing an after show. I'll call you back, okay? No. Yes, bye-bye. <laughs> Lacey Redway, trust me, global stylist, welcome back to the after show. I love having you. I love being this here. This will be fun. This was a really cool challenge. Yes. Tresemme has created the Future Stylist Fund. It supports and elevates up and coming black hairstylists through scholarships and access to incredible career opportunities. Tresemme really is helping to pave the way for these stylists. That's the thing. It's like making sure that this like, younger generation has a place to go. Yes. And be successful, you know? I'm getting emotional talking to you about it yeah. because they were teaching me their little tricks and techniques. They're quite young. Yeah. And to see the talent already, this is going to be like an insane career for all of them. And I think it was such a good little push yeah. into the industry, into the business. I just have so many ideas. With the balloons mm -hmm. and the leather. I love that. Just wait. I can imagine. Okay. I can see I can. it. Oh! Let me assist you. No. I think it's always great when we get to collaborate as designer and hairstylist to come up with beautiful looks that, you know, go down the runway. And I think the designers, I think they did a good job. The collaboration, like, it all worked, which yes. was really nice. Yes. Because it doesn't always work. It doesn't. And it was nice to see. I think you just know when you love it. And all the girls, they just loved it. Yeah, it's their passion that I was so impressed by, yeah, you know? Yeah, me too. I feel so honored and privileged to have the opportunity to help mentor them through their journey. I'm taking one of the stylists tomorrow on a, one of my photo shoots, the Shadow Me, you know, because I, I feel Who? so passionate. Which one? Lucci. So Lucci she did, did um, Chantal's look yes. on Roberta. Yes. So cute. Ooh. Chic. It was so perfect. So I was it like, was... wait, how'd that happen? Oh, well, that Tresemme gel. When you have a Bantu knot like that, mm -hmm. you don't want it to unravel. Yeah. So we used a little bit of the Tresemme gel to make sure, like, when we're securing the buns, it doesn't unravel. Mm. And we didn't need any, like, pins or anything like that. Wait, what do you mean? I'm telling you, the Tresemme gel. No, that's not true. I promise you, we use no pins. That really? That Tresemme gel held everything in place. I want to look at the winning look oh, because yeah. I love it. Tracity's look. Model Jessica, and this is Davine and Agnes. Uh, I mean, the hair was couture. It was like a couture dress. Even though it was done, it still looks like kind of effortless in a weird yes, way. Yes. I don't know why. It's incredible. Yeah. I can't believe this was done by stylists that are in beauty school. Yeah, I know. This is tough. This is tough. 
Lacey, thank you so much for coming. We have a blast. It, we do. Yeah. We do. The after show's over. Ugh. And I got no cocktail. You gotta go get one. Let's go.